Today's video, we're taking a look at the Madden 25 gameplay deep dive blog. So uh, obviously we'll go over the beta video as well. And we did, uh, we, we will talk a little bit about just kind of what we've heard uh, from the community as Madden 25 is on the is on the come up, going to be dropping here in less than a month. If you guys want to get all my Madden eBooks, also get all my college eBooks, join our school community. It's only $10. You get everything. You get all of the college eBooks, all the Madden eBooks, all the updates. We literally are putting content in there pretty much every single day. Um, showing you good blitzes, good uh, route combos, full ebooks, everything you need to get better. So if you want to check that out, that link's in the description below. Let's take a look at our game gameplay deep dive video. Let's jump in and tackle all the details on the first look. So uh, Boom Tech, this seems to be a big focus for them this year. Players have made it clear that they prefer agency and control in gameplay rather than scripted or predetermined outcomes. So they've introduced Field Sense this year. They're bringing Boom Tech into the game. Um, this feature is essentially going to make hit sticking, cut sticks, trucks, stiff arms, dive tackles. Um, they're going to make hit sticks matter a lot more. But from what we've heard and what we've seen, the hit stick is going to be much, much more difficult. But if you've been playing college football 25, you know that hit sticks are kind of back. If you lay a hit stick, you have uh, a pretty good chance of making a fumble. I think that's really good for the game in general. Now, let's get down here to some of the other stuff, the balance and recovery system. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. They spent about the first two minutes of the video actually essentially kind of breaking down Boom Tech. It seems like that's their big thing this year. But from what I've seen, ball carry moves in general are going to be worse in Madden 25 than they were in Madden 24. The juke move was really good in Madden 24. Madden 25, it seems like it's going to be decent, but you're going to be able to make tackles, uh, which is good. I think that's good for the game. I think you should have to um, – I, I, think, I, think, I don't think stick work should be super, super easy. I think there should be some skill gap in that. Um, it just so happens Madden 25 is the 20th anniversary of the hit stick. So that's kind of the whole idea is they're going to go with that. Uh, signature authenticity. In addition to user control, players and fans alike admire Madden for its visual authenticity. There you go. Uh, for Madden 25, signature authenticity includes an overhauled set of ball carrier mechanics. In general, it seems like the ball carrier moves are slower uh, from what I from what I gathered. Uh, and you're going to need to be a little bit more, I don't know, strategic with how you kind of set up your moves. They did a lot to like tackling and ball carry moves, uh, which is kind of interesting. So using our frost by animation technology brought more athleticism and awareness to ball carriers. You'll notice these improvements in both user and IA control ball carriers. You can cut a little bit better than you were able to last year. So you can um, you can kind of change direction just a little bit better, I think, than you can you could last year. Once a player requests direction turn um, skill moves, we've also added completely refreshed skill moves. Uh, this one real quick is really important. So to further enhance all the new animations, there's a new mechanic called the setup state. So pressing down right trigger and flicking down on the right joystick enters you into setup state. This move has a chance to send an oncoming defend downfield defenders into a breakdown, meaning the ball carrier's next move has a chance to fake the defender out. You kind of see this in College Football 25 with the spin and juke, and you can string move combos together. So we'll see how that works out. But essentially... Um, you see right here, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to hold right trigger and then you're going to go back and then right juke. So you're going to set up the move and then you're going to flick the right joystick to whichever side you want to go to. That's what's going to make your jukes and spins better. So that's super important. Uh, signature preplay styles. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I do want to talk about the preplay adjustments. So for years, Madden has maintained and added special checks and adjustments in its pre-play logic meant to stimulate the types of changes real-life players make at the line of scrimmage. Smart adjustment behavior. So when you see an offensive lineman make a hand signal before settling to his stance or a linebacker signal to a defensive back or the defensive lineman change to a motion, these will no longer be random fidgets. These are going to be real-life football adjustments will be shown with uh, contextually appropriate animations. Easy example, when the offense, offensive line is dynamically changing his protection to a 5-0 call versus five rushers. So that would be like, in college football, that would be like if you went with what's called empty protection, empty protection in your pass menu, then your center, you're going to have uh, basically visual tells. You're going to have visual tells, which is kind of interesting because that's going to tell, like, if you're, if you're able to kind of pick that up, it's going to add a little bit of stuff, a little bit of strategy to the pre-play stuff. Uh, just in terms of uh, of basically recognizing those tells. Uh, but in general, halfback added to base protection schemes, tackle alert guard to edge pressure threat, center alert guard to join half slide, 
Yeah, so that's basically like these are kind of the the animations that they're going to do. Defense signals for bunch trips jumbo. So, yeah, just kind of more realistic. That's cool. Uh, foundational football, catching innovation. Players will have more control over the types of catches they want to deploy than ever before. Than ever before. Uh, when you hit a catch button in Madden 25, you will get the exact catch you are requesting, and the system will ensure that the context of the can catch will be reflected accurately. For example, if you decide to hit try and go for a Y catch, an aggressive catch, but the pass is low, we've added a new low height jumping catches to ensure you get the button input response uh, required. All right, that's cool. So basically catching is going to be the one-handed catches and stuff. That's going to be crazy. Yeah, new catch. Oh, okay, here we go. Speaking of control, we also added a new catch mechanic. The spectacular catch mechanic, a fourth catch option on L1 or LB, that allows you to attempt a one-handed catch. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Um, and so when you do one, you're going to get an extended catch radius. Okay, that's cool. And there is some reward. You're going to have a better chance of dropping it as well. So we'll see if people use it. seems more like a stylistic thing, but sure. Uh, this is the one I want to talk about, blocking. So one core fundamental we know is extremely important to the community is the trenches. So we've continued to invest in blocking. The excitement for the new pass blocking mechanics we're introducing this year was reinforced when our Madden Design Council signed off with its eagerness for the feature when we pitched the idea to the team during early production. So basically, the blocking is significantly improved. Blitzing is going to be harder than it's ever been in Madden from what I've seen and what I've heard. Uh, we're obviously going to find blitzes. We're going to have blitzes. We're going to have all that stuff for you in the school community. But basically, there's a lot of different options for protection. When you enter the patch protection menu, you'll see four additional pass block options, which I think is a good change. Um, there's half slides. There's full slides. There's empty protection. Very similar to, to uh, College Football 25. Okay, um, A lot of different blocking schemes. I like that there's risk reward to this. And as you see right here, this is kind of a visual image of what you'll see in the game. So you see how it kind of shows you like who they're going to block in your protection. This is actually a super big part of like real NFL experience. So I'm actually excited for this change. I think that that's a good change for sure. Uh, we've adjusted how the pass block pocket is formed. Uh, we've made improvements to the tackles pass block. Or instead of attempting to get the most ideal point of intersection with their target, they're now going to stay in a pass set uh, and get to the later uh, later intersection point. When iterating on this, we noticed that even with the tackles getting deeper in their vertical pass sets, the quarterback was still out leveraging them with his drop back. When we investigated why the quarterback dropbacks had been sped up over the course of many cycles, so much that they were almost two times the speed of the original animation. So we have also slowed down the dropback speeds to more accurate. So this will be interesting to see how this works. If you played Madden last year after the patch, when they patched a lot of the blitzes, a lot of it has to do with like the depths that the offensive line drops to. And, at, and then the engagement point, they're called the intersection, but the engagement point from the defensive end to engage with like the tackle, for example, what they've done and what they've been trying to do is they're making that intersection point or that engagement point way deeper in the actual pocket. So old man's, it would be like one or two yards back, right? Now it's like as many as five yards back, they're engaging. The problem with this is this is what allows like a gap blitzes, loop blitzes, B gap pressures, stuff like that to be very, very effective. So we'll see how that kind of changes. Um, changes things over 500 new animations across all blocking types, pass block wins and losses. Uh, playbooks, another one of our key innovations. The team's really excited about a brand new playbook tool we've been investing in for several years. We began designing this new frostbite capability in 2021. The investment is going to start to return dividends for Madden 25. I really hope so um, because it's going to create some new plays. We need new plays. We need better playbooks. Playbooks are such a simple thing that makes such a big difference, honestly. And I, I know it's not simple. It's simple to us. It's probably not simple to them, but it's a huge, huge deal. Um, this new tool allows our design team to make plays faster and easier with a variety of new debug tools to ensure they're created with a polished and more frequently. So that's great. I hope that they're constantly adding stuff into the game. That will just increase the engagement within the game. So as you see here, the big one in the beta they talked about was the uh, Miami Orbit Motions, Deep Crossers, um, the Corn Dog play the Chiefs ran on the Super Bowl. That's all cool stuff. More plays typically better. They just have to work. They have to function. That's where that polishing 
um, comes. So our two, our new playbook tool also unlocks our ability to truly become a live service. This is what we've they've been talking about this for a long time. And I do think it was like 21, 21 or 22 that they started talking about this. This needs to actually happen. There's a thing that you can do where it's like NFL live playbooks. The live that essentially is like a an option that should be allowing them to put new plays into the game like every week. There should be new plays coming in the game. I think that would be really, really cool. Um, let's see here. With our live service plans, there are some specific changes. First, the legacy play limit with custom playbooks no longer exists. You'll be able to add plays. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, with this tech updated new design to online head head, custom playbooks will not be available in regs or play a friend, so there's no point in making a custom playbook. Future release of saving custom audible. Oh, this is cool. This is huge. This is, I mean, it's such a little thing, but it's a huge thing. I really like this. So they're going to be adding saving custom audibles will be coming to Madden 25 post launch. Been asking for this for a long time, allowing players to similar, allowing players similar capability is more authentic. I really like that. I mean, it's a little thing to me um, in the big picture of a game, but that's a great change to the game. Um, you, we are planning to add the ability to save custom audibles. That's huge. That's that, I, I, I think that's a really good deal because we've been asking for that for a really long time. Finally, they're putting it in the game. Hopefully, the live playbooks are cool. I'm probably most excited for this, honestly, uh, just because it um, just because it, it, it just adds a level of engagement, like better plays, more plays, more formations, ability to save your custom audibles, be more creative on the offensive side ball. I'd love to see them add some defenses that actually work. I feel like everything we're saying here normally is for the offensive side of the ball. Very rarely do you see Madden add things for defense. We'll get to that in a little bit, but – Glad that they're doing that. Special teams, new kickoff, in addition to new types of offensive defensive plays. You will see that you're going to notice for instance, yes, this is uh, the, the new kickoff rules. So they are going to have this in there. I do think this is going to mean more kickoff return for touchdowns. A um, couple other updates. Let's go through these. These are actually super important for gameplay. Um, the hot route update, the basic route tree will now be available by default. I love this. I do not like this right here. Hot route abilities will now only be needed to unlock the exotic routes. So one of the exotic routes is a zig route. So we used to be able to hot route a zig no matter what. It was one of the most effective ways to beat man every year. Now you have to have hot route master to hot route a zig route. Kind of dumb. I think people love one of the thing. One of the super underrated things that that college football did is they they gave every quarterback hot route master, and it opened up. A lot of different teams to use, a lot of different offenses to use, a lot of different playbooks to use. I wish Madden would do that. I really do. I think that would be so, so much more enjoyable. And I just don't like that you have to have an ability to unlock these quote unquote exotic routes. The KO ability is a big change. I don't like this at all, personally, um, because Madden favors offense. I guess with switch stick, switch stick is the big change to defense, which will cover that. Um, but it does say here, these abilities are now far less likely to force knockouts. I don't really like that. To me, that's that's kind of – this was one of the main things you could do to, like, play better defense. So I just I just don't really like that change because I just feel like the offense didn't need to get better, right? Uh, secure Protector. This ability is no longer guaranteed to counteract pass rushing abilities. So they nerfed Secure Pro. That's interesting. Um I, <laughs> unstoppable force performs better versus play action. I don't like that either. Uh, uh, inside stuff, no, sorry, these abilities will no longer function if the defensive team uses pass commit. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, reduce pass velocity bonus, set feet lead, pass lead, elite. This is, this is a good change. This is a good change. I don't know how, you know, it doesn't say that, uh, like, removed it. It just says reduced. So that will be interesting to kind of see. I love this change right here, what you're about to see. Uh, rally to the flats. I like that. One of the number one coverages in, in the real world today is quarters and cover three match. Those are the two. Cover three match has been great against two by two sets. It's been absolutely terrible, absolutely terrible against um, pretty much any trip set because they don't have the checks in there. New cover three match checks versus, uh, of course, it's non-bunch and trips formations. Shame which focuses on the backside hook curl to help on crossers. Hopefully this coverage is, I don't know, I just want this coverage to be good because this is a great, this cover three match is a great coverage in real life, and they've just completely made it obsolete in Madden. 
because it can't, you know, the number one formation people are going to use in Madden is bunch or trips formations. So hopefully cover three matches better. I don't know. We'll see. We'll test it all out for you. Improvements to base cover two, cover three, cover four. Hope so. Hope so because zone's been terrible. Um, Tampa 2 has a new zone that does not match called Curl Zone. I like that. Uh, Tampa 2 plays that don't include a blitz meant to avoid underneath defenders. Okay, cool. Improve the drop depths and location. I saw this in college football 25. Curl flats are actually really good uh, for defending like, like corner routes, so to speak. So I hope so. The curl flat defender is a key. Hook curls better carry vertical routes. I hope so. I really hope that these zone improvements actually improve. Uh, this one's a big one. Man coverage tuning to improve how defenders read. Mm, that's interesting. Man coverage could be good. RPO defense improvements had to happen. RPOs last year were completely broken. Defenders aligned over receivers will, will read their keys and prioritize their pass responsibilities over the play and the run. Could be a problem, but probably going to be a good thing. Perimeter defenders. College football 25, what I like is if, you are not ha if you're not in a good – defense that is positioned well to stop RPOs, you can still throw RPRs. But if you have good defense on the field, they can't throw RPOs. It's a pick. I want that in, in Madden, 100%. Perimeter defenders will be more aggressive in shedding their blocks. I like that. Defensive read and react was tuned to increase block defenders' awareness, reaction. So it sounds like they patched RPOs, which really needed to happen. Uh, really needed to happen. Mini games. Uh, switch sticks the big one. This advanced mechanic will give defensive players the ability to quickly switch between defenders before the pass is thrown, excuse me, with a directional flick of the right joystick. This will allow players to manually move more than one coverage defender as the play develops to avoid getting stuck on a pass rusher. Make sure that you are in a zone. So you, you aren't going to be able to, like, send three, but I love this change. Uh, this is really, really a, – it's a big deal. This is, like, a revolutionary thing in, in Madden, and it's going to literally change – how offense is played, how defense is played, how tournaments are run, are won. This is a game-changing mechanic. It's also in college football 25, and it has truly changed the game. It changes how you play defense. And I actually underratedly don't love switch stick personally. And the reason why is because I feel like you can get away with very basic and honest, honestly bad adjustments because you can just switch stick and take it away. So I don't love that, but that is what it is. Uh, covered shells. This is an advanced football strut, but it is cool. It, 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 I don't love the. I don't love what it actually practically leads to, but I like that they're giving us something on defense that we can do to counter, you know, how good offense has been on next gen Madden because the user can't do really anything on next gen. Custom route stems. This route com customization tool gives the players. Um, so this is in College World twenty two or twenty five cool part i like about this i want to see if you can actually do this with a with a slant because in college football 25 you can't stem slants as far as i know so if you if you can't change a slant and they put this in the deep dive it's going to be kind of funny uh, but basically you can just stem the routes which is which is good if you can stem a slant low key slant will be the best route in madden and the reason why is because the cut on a slant is different than the cut on a post it's a little sharper a little better for beating man but this is cool i love this it just adds for creativity uh, new kick meter options. You do not want to kick like you have to kick in college football 25. It's really difficult. So hopefully that's fine. Uh, but that's it for me. Uh, thanks for watching. If you guys want to get all of our ebooks and stuff, we're going to be breaking down a ton of stuff about this game. Obviously, uh, one of the things I really wanted to do this year as a, as a YouTube channel is I wanted to have college football and Madden content all year long. So we're going to have ebooks all year long. When Madden drops, this channel right here is going to go fully into Madden, and my College Football 25 channel will be where all my college stuff is going to be housed. Um, so if you want to check that channel out, I'll link it down below. But that's the Madden Gameplay Deep Dive, guys.